the wait is over the cross-border derby is here Wrexham against Chester as Wrexham look for the win that will take him up to fourth place in the table always a crackling atmosphere for these matches Wrexham looking to end a run of four consecutive draws James Jennings suspended so David Raven fills in at left back for Wrexham Mark Carrington back from injury and Scott Bowden returned to the bench Paul Rutherford retains his place ahead of Jonathan Franks who had a good first start in Wrexham's last match as for Chester Dominic Vos returns to the race course interesting to see how he lines up Ryan Astles the skipper was sent off here two games ago Dean Keats looking to complete the double over Chester for the first time since the 1976-77 season immediately Wrexham's defence is tested out and the ball was quickly something to chase and he's battling away then Hobson though he's there in fact he's won the ball good work by Quigley that's how you want to start a derby on the front foot battling for the ball in the opposing half here's Hobson bringing it forwards that's a sloppy ball he's sold Crawford short here's Quigley now hasn't got much support only Rutherford inside him but he's got the fullback isolated stands him up doesn't get old the shot frustration for Quigley that's what he does well isn't it just commits defenders runs at them and once he's done that he's not shy to get a shot off on goal didn't quite get that one right though Meanwhile, Manny Smith's gone down. He seems indestructible normally. It's so strange to see him injured. He's had a good start to the game, Smith. But, oh, that's a, that's a heavy landing, isn't it? It's his left knee seems to be the problem. That's worrying. Yeah, he certainly can't continue. He looks in quite a way. Wrexham will have to reshuffle this back four. Already reshuffled after the suspension of James Jennings. Mark Carrington's going to come back into the first team action. And he's going to have to come in the unfamiliar left back row, which he has played before. Raven will slot across into the centre of defence. What a blow to see Manny Smith go off, though. It's Kelly. Holroyd. Roberts against his old team. It's nicely done. Holroyd also against his old team. Looking for the foul. He's not going to get it there. And then Dawson dinks it forwards. And Archer's... Good strength, good persistence. Akin Tunde is inside him and there's options to his right as Vos is getting up there, plus the overlap. Hall's going outside Vos. Hall's now as movement in the box. He plays it. Oh, Archer. That's a decent chance. Lovely shape on the cross by Halls. He punched it into the far post. Good approach play. Vos quickly used the overlap. And Roberts did well, didn't he? Just stood his ground made it difficult for Archer to get on top of the header good defending it's Carrington using his left foot nice work by Vos winning it back back in Tunde's missed out his waters now running at Roberts did Raven catch back in Tunde there oh, oh dear <laughs> well the first challenge by Raven may well have been a foul Waters going down asking for a penalty. Well, Chester going back and asking about the initial foul. Waters, though, well, that was embarrassing. Maybe that's a foul. I can only maybe anticipate it. There's a Waters as well. What's, what's in that? Absolutely nothing. Just hand in hand, strolled in the park. Oh dear, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Kelly. Oh, Rutherford hit from behind hard by Anderson that's a, given the referee a decision a poor challenge that right through the back of him Pearson's furious the referee has got a yellow card in his hand that was a poor challenge by Anderson but right through the back of Rutherford he was late right through the back of him and I think yellow card's probably just about right but Anderson was treading a fine line there Here's the free kick from Wedgbury. Nodded down nicely. And well, just too close to the keeper as Holroyd tried to snatch it. Anderson now. 
Devos. Nice ball back. Raven under pressure though. He's done well to squeeze that out. He's done even better to find Holroyd now. Two on two break. Quigley immediately pulls out. Tries to find some space in the far post. Chester getting back quickly. Holroyd does well. That's a lovely ball. Oh, it's missed it. Wow, it's a glorious ball in. Quigley. I don't think Firth touched that. But I think he put Quigley off when he attacked it. Striker's taken his eye off the ball, I think. And failed to get a proper contact in front of an open goal. Great work by Holroyd. Oh, and Quigley couldn't get it on target. If he had, he'd have scored. No nonsense clearance that. Archer again, back again. Here's Vos. Decent ball to Akinton. Day first touch was disappointing though because he had Raven isolated. Raven tight to him. Akinton needs to well to feed that back in. Oh, and Crawford, an air shot. He's got to do better than that. It's half a chance that. Body shape all wrong. Marcus Big not, not amused. Chester will be the happier, I think, for the first half. They've managed to show good fight and on occasions taken the game to Rex and we haven't created much in the first half. That's it, half time. So can Rexham find a bit more in the second period? Wedgbury gets things forwards. Balls. Archers in the box. He's pulled back instead for Akintunde. Here's Vos. Decent strike. Oh, good save by Doug. Good save. Dawson struck that well. It was arcing away from the Wrexham keeper and inside the far post. Good footwork by Dunn. Really good save. It's a lovely strike by Dawson. Agile save. Dunn judged it well. Kelly under pressure as well. Wedgebury has it nicked off him by Akintunde. Not all that much ahead of him. Vose takes over. Vose, good balance typically. Finds Archer. Pearson goes shoulder to shoulder. Archer gets a shot away. Oh, and it's just squeezed wise. Great save again by Dunn. Got just enough strength on that. Neat ball by Vose and Archer did really well to hold off Pearson and dig a shot out. Wow, that was close. Goes helping it in. Great strength by Archer. Good work by Dunn. Here comes the corner. Dunn does well again. Now there's a break on here. Rutherford. He's got options. Holroyd's an eight because the space on the, on the left hand side. Pass though. Oh, it just lacks pace. It slowed the move down. Holroyd's done well to keep it going. Quickly. Okay, so his man isolated. Can he get a shot off? Onto his right foot. Blocked and sent behind for the corner. Hobson got the block in. Rutherford with the in swinger. Clears. Roberts can keep this move going though. Rutherford. Roberts swings it in. Decent looking ball. He is quickly. Can he deliver? It's nasty. Astles does well. Nasty driven ball in that. Astles defending the six yard box nicely. Bowden getting ready to come on. Wrexham will just having their best spell of the half. To start to turn the screw. Holroyd dropping into the hole. He's got options either way. Stands it in. Quigley back to goal. Back to Wedgebury. Good save. Good strike that by Wedgebury. Got on top of it well. Plus Firth is always going to get across and get his hands to that. Clean strike by Wedgebury. Raven. Always. He's quickly now. Turn on his man. That's a goal. Yes, it's there. Quigley scores. Wrexham take the lead. Scott Quigley. Oh, he's loving that. He is loving it. Wrexham take the lead in the cross-border derby. Typical Quigley. Stands up his man. Makes a bit of space. Shifting the ball out. And a great strike across the keeper. And Wrexham take the lead in the derby. 
seven goals and seven starts for Quigley. Tremendous impact he's had since he arrived on loan from Blackpool. Allred lays her off quickly. Well to control an awkward ball there, but once he stands people up like that, he's so dangerous. Quickly, good strike. Think back to that save done, Maze. With strong hands, he just squeezed it around the post. Firth, not strong hands. Couldn't get enough on it. Should he have pushed that round the post? Not much footwork from Firth. Standing position, doesn't get across. But Quigley, hitting it early, hitting it across him, catches about and wrecks him of a precious lead here against Chester. Big not, not happy. It's well won. Once. Lucky bit of a ricochet here. Holroyd helps her on. Rutherford quickly out to the flag. Quigley. He's got bodies in the box. Again, he's got a man isolated. Stretch. Just about cleared. Holroyd drives in. Devedex. They shout for offside. They don't get it. He scores. 2 0 Wrexham. Nicky Devedex. His first goal for Wrexham. With his weaker right foot as well. Chester are furious. They're asking for offside. Holroyd pulled his shot. Fortuitously straight to Devedex. And he did well with his weaker foot to feed the finish across the keeper. Wrexham thrilled. Surely a two goal buffer will be enough. Chester shown hard, but they haven't created many chances. Stabbed clearance. Holroyd pulled it back in, and it's not offside. Hall's much too slow coming out. Devedex did well to turn, kept his head. Good finish across the keeper. Balls has to get out quicker than that. Credit to Devedix. Sharp work in the box. Wrexham. Got some breathing space. Roberts. Wedgebury helps it on. Quickly. Oh, the flag goes up. There's one on one. That looked like a tight call, that. Quickly. Living on the shoulder of the last defender. And, ooh, it is a tight call. It is offside, I think. The lines have got it right, but so close to being clear. His bows now. Closing moments. Good spread. Halls does well. Roberts, not the best clearance. Marne. Stands it up. Roberts. Ooh, another shaky clearance there. And well, it was a shot or a cross. Hannah had no chance of getting near it though. Straighting that for Chester. It'll only be a consolation, surely, though. And there it is. Wrexham win the cross-border derby. They do the double over Chester. They also set an outright club record. 20 league sheet clean sheets in one season. And Wrexham push themselves back up into fourth place. Scott quickly opened the scoring. Continuing his prolific run. What a signing he's been. And Nicky Devedex was first goal for the club. Wrexham triumph, final score. Wrexham 2, Chester 0.